Hello here, phoenixtypepatter.com. We're going to put the uh, return and tab cords on a IBM Selectric. This happens to be a Selectric 1. Procedure's the same for a 2 and a 3. I just need to put the cords on this. Um, the pulley broke over here. So we've got a pulley. And I just need to get this working so I can determine if this machine is going to be uh, fixable. So this um, tab cord is already connected under the carrier, and it's all right here. It's just hanging out the side. That's the way we're going to start with this. This side, of course, is underneath, connected under the carrier, comes around the way it should, around the pulleys back here, and uh, into the back. And it is also just kind of ready to be attached, just right here. So it goes into the back of the... Uh, Spindle here, whatever we call this gear. Okay, so my procedure is a little different than a IBM's procedure. Like I said, this machine is in the the mainspring has no winds on it right now. Oh, let me check something out here. Make sure this mainspring is in here proper, which it didn't look like it was. Let me get this back in here. Right. Well, speaking a little. Okay. Okay, it's right. Make sure this tab gets pushed in. Okay. So now it's really under no. Uh, we can turn the power. And nothing's going to happen. So we can turn the machine on, and there's going to be no action. But what we want to do is, so my method is, I want to wind the spring to max right now. So let's turn it off, hit carriage return, and I'm going to run it, and it's going to engage the carriage return and start winding this pulley. It's going to wind it, let me get some light down here. So now it's going to go ahead and wind this pulley because it thinks it's doing a carriage return. So it's winding and tightening up this pulley as if it's returning and tightening up the mainspring. And if you want to speed this process up, you just turn the machine on. Now it just about wound all of it. And I want to max it out until it doesn't. The mainspring is going to max out here. I'm going to stop turn. Okay, should be pretty close to maxing out here. Just keep turning it, and eventually that spring is going to max out. There it is, right there. So now the spring is as tight as it gets. Okay, now I'm going to release the carriage return. And I'm going to hold this pulley from turning back because it wants to spin back. Okay, so I'm going to now back it off about seven turns. Pulley wraps up about four. I'm going to go seven back. So let's, we can look at this right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now I want to attach my pulley or my uh, cord here. Let's see. In here, there's a slot right there. So I'm going to attach this. And you'll see what I oh, trick this does. Okay, so let's. Oops. Get this attached. Which is always a little tricky, but. Is my IBM tool. There it is. Okay, almost attached. Okay, so now I'm going to engage the carriage turn again. 
So go up here, hit return. I'm going to hold this pulley steady while the carriage return engages all the way. And uh, let's see if I can get some more light in here. So let's, I'm engaging the carriage return. I got to hold this. And now it's engaging and turning, and it's going to tighten up this rope. And let's go ahead and guide it as it's turning. Hemostats. So I'm just going to guide this into the grooves where it should be, and pretty quick here to it's going to tighten up. Okay, so now it's in the carriage return mode, and I'm turning the hand clutch, and it's going to it's going to do a carriage return basically. It's going to pull this over. So let's start moving it. There it goes. We want to move this almost to the margin. Let's go. We can turn the machine around. That's wrapping perfectly down here now. So that cord is wrapping up the way it should. That's just wrapping up right like it should. And, oops. So, um, what we're trying to do is turn this character turn just enough that we want to line the uh, the other side of this pulley. There's a place here to connect it, and we want to just stop it. And I think we might stop right there. I think the 15. This is a 13 inch model. The 15 inch model. I think it gets a little closer. This 13 inch, I think, is. Uh, I think we stop right about there. Give this a try here. Okay, now I'm just going to wind this the way it should go, is around the frame here. Like it's going to go on the pulley. Looks like both these, uh, both these tips were broken off. The back one was the same way. It, they. Well, maybe that's just the old electric one. Selector twos have a little, little tab here, but I thought it was broken. It might be a selectric one. It doesn't look broken. It looks like it's just uh, designed. Don't do too many selectric ones anymore. All right, let's bring this through. Get it through here, and we're going to lay it down. This is a little bit of the tricky part. Light in here, possibly. Okay, what we need to do now is attach it to this hub, or this pulley, and it goes. It's gonna want to go. It's got a wrap. We gotta get some wraps on it, so it's got to go underneath. We gotta send it underneath. And the whole while you gotta make sure you don't disengage the carriage return. That is holding tension on here right now. So okay, so we got that underneath. I'm gonna pull it through from the bottom a little bit. I think I can reach that. Okay, so this is coming around. It's got one, basically got one wrap on it. Let me see if that's about where it belongs. I might have to go two wraps on this. Okay, there's one wrap and. I believe that's going to be two wraps. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try something. I'm going to go ahead and try to keep returning this and see if I can get this to come around and that one more one more turn without disengaging against the margin here. Okay, let's go see if it'll go around. So I can get to that that cutout. It's just about to disengage the carriage turn over here. There's the cutout right here. <clears throat> So it's right there we want to attach this to. We can do that with a couple tools. Got to get this back under there. It's out of the way. Right. Now we can just kind of, <clears throat> I'm going to pull this in. and we're going to make sure this gets around the pulley proper. Okay, so we got some, looks like it's in the right position. I'm going to look underneath and make sure it's where it belongs here. Yes. Okay. So now that's in there. And what I've got here is I'm holding the cord or the, you know, right here and we've got to get the pulley in around the pulley now. And we can pull this pretty tight. So here we go. We're going to compress the pulley and get it wrapped around here. There she goes. This is kind of compressed a little more than it should be. Um, we'll see if that straightens out when we power this back up. Okay, let's hand crank it. We should be, it should disengage the uh, carriage return here just about. Let's see. There it goes. So now we should be able to tab over. There's a bunch of tab sets here. Okay, there it goes. Looks good. It's wrapping up proper. I think we got it. Oh, let's see. This cord's got to be on the other side of this. And let's go ahead and put the uh, guide roller in here. Get that on. All right, everything is proper over here. Proper over here. Now let's take a look in the back. I think it's looking A-OK -okay back here. And the mainspring is already pre-wound. We wound that already, so I think that's it. It should, should work in the power. Here we go. Tab over. Okay, tab over. It's a little tight. We'll clear all the tabs here. Tab over. Return back. Tab over. It's a little. Oh, it's just dirty. 
Your machine is just dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay, I got that far enough that I can now determine if this is a going to be a salvageable machine. It's very dirty. It's got some noises and a little bit of noise coming off the operational shaft here. Let's put some lube down here and see. Well, that helped a little. Okay, that is the Phoenix typewriter way of putting on a draw band, return band, and a tab cord. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting better. Get some lubrication on here, and probably start moving properly. And look at that, the pulley went right about into place here. You want about a screwdriver blade to go in there and that's about right and you want it to wiggle you know when you hit return what well, you know everything's about right there's a little line on these pulleys right here that's like your adjustment line and it's it's good all right that's how you put the tab the return cords on that's electric and uh That's what we did. We got them on this hub, 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 and that hub down there. And everything is in order. All right. This is phoenixtypewriter.com. Have a good day.